Get the net income, the operating cash flow Say I sound old school, but I ain't really that old 26 now, trying to build me a castle Yo, I just hope and pray my fans grow to trust me This rap game full of weak clowns like Krusty What's good everybody, we're back again And I've got a pair of uh, Jordan 4 Pure Monies As you can see, Pure Money As if you're wondering how to uh, paint your kicks red like this uh, I do have a Jordan 4 bait custom where what I did was paint the exact same shoe red uh, after I painted the Jordan 4 red I show you guys how to put a red bait camel print on that so uh, the, the steps on getting this guy from white to red are in that video so today we're going to that next intermediate step and I'm going to show you guys how to drop on some stencils and make this an LV Time Supreme uh, collab kind of a uh, custom so with that said y'all let's go first things first guys when you're looking at uh, this Jordan 4 you want to kind of map out where you feel the the most appropriate uh, places should be for for these stencils if I wanted to I could as an example I could drop it right here in the front cut it down the middle and we can have a supreme right there another option would be maybe dropping it somewhere here on the side this looks pretty close to this that's another that's another possible option here dropping just a piece of it in there for example if you just wanted to have the the supreme you could put it in the netting and cut here and just have just this portion inside of the netting so so many different ways but when you guys plan this out you want to make sure that you're executing it efficiently and it should actually look like it belongs in the shoe. And here's another option here is I'm looking at this little V here and I'm going to take this Supreme logo, start putting it here which would actually not be a bad place either. I think I'm going to align it here with this guy and maybe just drop it slightly behind. So it might require a little bit of cutting because we have the wing here that's kind of in the way. but if we could plan this out correctly and I could get this Supreme logo to be somewhere in this area then we could drop a little bit of the Louis Vuitton print here in the back and then we can drop the rest of it here in the front. Now for the LV print same thing guys, there's, there's two ways that the LV print can really go. It can go with the LV facing this way which means uh, up and down and when you place it down it'll kind of wrap around that same way but then you have to keep in mind as it wraps around, it'll start to change its direction. See that? So look at if you wrap this guy around. Now the LV print is no longer facing down. It's starting to flail this way through the toe box. So my, I guess my direction today, I'm gonna try to do the LV print to be up like this, up and down. And then on this end, I want to try my best to try to also have it go up and down, but from the toe box area. And the reason why I want to do that is because when people see the print on the toe box, I don't want it to look weird where it's kind of like going in this direction. I want it to be really kind of like a nice straightforward Louis Vuitton print from up and down so it's legible and it's easy to read. So. That might mean that I'd have to do a little bit of tweaking in the transition area which will be around here. So like I said guys, this is my first LV and Supreme Custom. Uh, you guys are kind of just rocking with me so uh, wish me luck and, and let's, start, um, let's start with one of these shoes. You guys, when you're doing stencils, you want to work in smaller sections because let's say I wrap this whole shoe around. Well, these stencils here, guys, they're made of vinyl. They're, they're like a sticker material. And what, what happens with sticker materials is they eventually start to lose its adhesion property. And when it does that, it leaves gaps open so when we actually are airbrushing, it'll start to put overspray in spots we don't want. All right, so um, I would recommend you guys maybe start by doing like one section here and then maybe the toe box section here in the front. And then we'll do the same thing on this end here. All right, so maybe splitting this guy up into three is, is a good idea. I would recommend that. So um, with that said, guys, let's jump on to the first section here. I want to do the toe box first. And the reason I want to do the toe box first is 
this is kind of like the face of the whole shoe. Uh, if someone's gonna notice your shoes, the first thing they're gonna see is you straight forward, and they'll look down here at this toe box or face area. So let's make sure that's your ideal area. So if for some reason this, this section doesn't come out so fancy, at least we know the front looks good, all right? So ideally, we wanna try to get at least one or two LV prints here on the toe box, and that, that way you can really kinda of emphasize that this is an LV Time Supreme print. So first thing is first, I take a look at this vinyl sheet. I notice that the LV print is right here. The LV print is also right here. Everything else around it is just basically the the other smaller flower logos or whatever you want to refer to them as. So um, I'm looking at an LV here and here. Ideally, you want to have at least both of them on here. What I would recommend though is not to have one just completely right down the center, but some are a little bit slightly off to the side so you could fit in the other LV as well. And it looks more of like a natural pattern. So uh, I'm going to probably choose this area here. Grab some tape. and mark off my spots. So it's not too hard, right? So this area there, and I wrap it around, and this is gonna be my next area here. And again, I'll just mark that off. Because that way, now I stabilized the vinyl piece, I've got a good idea where to cut. If you flip this guy around, you can kind of have an idea of where to cut. And so I may overcut a little bit. It's better to overcut because that way you won't lose that print. And I'll just be basically trailing down this guy here. These companies trying to sell me like I'm Barristan. Start with my craft, get it ghost like Kerrigan. There is no comparison, first gen American. We on the same side, Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison. I'm a young man who kind of old school, reminiscent, playing any yes and all my cousin Sega Genesis. Search me on the internet, you find that I've been in this. Spidey sense is tingling, my nemesis is venomous. Peace to broke musicians, making tips upon the promenade. Rich rappers still slaves, rocking chains, I'm a stud. Hindu say namaste, Muslim say so. I'm with Lake, I'm lock it like a combination Rock it like a bomb with patience Fighting off the occupation Writing off the cost of playing Trying to build a buzz like I'm hyped up off the operation Game, it's a hard road Say it's my ass fault Blaming myself, I don't throw shade to pass salt Less than mill is bland I just want a million bands Cause bands make a dance And she say that you the man I'm just saying Like Kakarada, Goku Fresh, I got them dope moves Order me so soup that got that tofu Smitty's fried fish, South Koreans cooking soul food Drive around the hood, guarantee there ain't no Whole Foods Came a long way from being stuck up off them road dudes Focus on the real, be yourself, get to know you Out of sync, out of sight, out of mind, gotta think Lot of ink, kinda drive, by the boom, by the bing Daily grind, ride, shine, working out the office now Made a little money, now my old man's is prouder now Test driving BMs, now I'm off on weekends Been like five months since I was blowing on them weed blends Maybe I'm a grown man, maybe I'm a system slave Artist from the hardest, the hardest for this to get you paid Give a struggle a rapper with shovel, tell him to dig his grave Laying in the bed he made, stuck in dead off as he played A lot of L's getting raped up on that river card Gas yeah, shut, heater broke, life will make you shiver hard Past blunts, in the past smoking in my boy's garage Bullshitting, politicking, dreaming it's a damn mirage We couldn't handle ours, got a grip like handlebars Throw my shit on wax, see the heater make the candle gone Rap to me is easy now, CB known to ramble on But I'm still the same, bro, shop at Vons with sandals on Copping food for thought, cause thinking is in recession now do this from my heart that mean my art is this guy is the, what the print should look like when it's done okay and I'll show you an example of something that needs to be placed down because you'll see an air bubble so I'll point this guy out right here see him right there so what I need to do is just very gently graze it back into place knowing that the print should still well if you want to check to see what the print should look like it should look like this guy here on this side all right so let's go back over Make sure that we got everything pressed down, looks good. Get any air bubbles out that you think that will affect what the pattern will look like before you place it down. It's very important guys that before you place this guy down, everything looks appropriate. About here. And now I'm just, I'm testing it guys. I haven't placed it down yet. I'm just testing it to make sure it's straight. Cause once you place it down guys, there's no turning back because there's a bunch of dots and circles and all kinds of stuff. So 
solidify the toe box first, see that? Make sure that the shape of the toe box looks good, you're happy with it. I'm happy with that, I got an LV here and here, I'm cool with that. One of them did get on the groove, but you know, sometimes you're just gonna have to make do and, and fix what, what you have to fix afterwards. But you see very carefully, guys, I'm placing it down. I'm, I'm looking for the actual crease line of the, the toe box, and I'm carefully making sure and securing this print on the front. Now that that's done, let's look to the side here and continue to very gently place the print down. Everything, get, the, get every single thing down and start to really secure its section on the shoe. This is where it's gonna be. So we can't mess up at this point. See this part here will fall into place. And then these guys here should also very carefully fall into place. I've got a little bit of an overage here. So because of that, I may have to adjust that little area. But before we do that, let's take off the contact paper. And this part's very important, guys, because if you want to take it off successfully, you want to press actually down on it and then pr press it away at the same time. What that does is it solidifies the vinyl and really helps it stick and latch onto the shoe because you're pressing it down and then you're also pulling this off at the same time. So, same thing with this one, guys. Just gotta press it down and away. Press down and away the whole way through. If you see any of the stencils starting to get, for example, adjusted in the wrong way, if you can stop and fix it, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, just keep going through. Just run through and we get this contact paper off. You pronounce my name, Hasib, Pete. Life is a loop. Every day is like a replay We play for keeps in this game, no free play Give them more so than that dude Tony Ishe Ay, And that Zappos, competition baffle Building my career, Daisy Chain was a scaffold So show tickets like a goddamn raffle People need jobs like Macintosh Apple Even if I pop, give them facts like Snapo Told me get a grip What I'm doing now is just making sure that any spots, for example, like corners and curves like this are completely pressed down, there's no air bubbles, nothing looks like uh, it'll have a potential to leak past the stencil. Uh, and again, you know, even though you have a stencil that guides you here, the stencil is really here, guys, to give you more of a roadmap to make sure you understand where all of the print can be. And once this is all done, you still have to make sure that you go through and clean up any like residual overspray or anything that uh, should not be there. You want to be able to shoot it in a, at an area where you can shoot it straight on. You don't want it to be where you're shooting it where the the paint can creep underneath something because things like the netting, the sock liner, they're very difficult to go back in and clean up afterwards. Now I'll be adding just some flat white in this guy. And now I'll be adding a little bit of tooth in as well. And what Too Thin guys does is, it'll just basically thin out the, the paint so it'll still come out of the nozzle with no problem, it'll be smooth, and it won't uh, get stuck. So you don't need to put too much in there, but you do want to put enough in there where you know that as you mix your paint, the paint will feel and look uh, more fluid than what it looks like before without, without the Too Thin. Now I can see it breaks down the, the, the paint quite a bit. And I don't want it to be too watery, guys. That's important if you're airbrushing stencils. You want it to be somewhat fluid, but not super watery. Quite a distance, I'd say about 12 inches. I'm gonna just go ahead and spray through the panel. Notice how light the coating is when I spray through the panel. I'm not going to pull this trigger back super hard. I'm just misting, literally I'm misting. 
And as I mist and if I see, for example, an area like that, that I just pu push down, you push it down and you just continue through. Uh, I'm jumping onto a second coat now. And again, I'm gonna hit it with light layers. I have not hit this with a heat gun at all. And the reason why I don't hit stencils like this with a heat gun is because if you hit this stencil with too much heat, it starts to warp the vinyl. Or the other thing that's even worse, it, it starts to make the adhesive behind the vinyl, which is the sticky part, it starts to, to melt it. And when it starts to melt, then it starts to move position and it, and it doesn't stick as well. So I'd, re I'd recommend you guys just keep it as is, wait for it to dry, give it a good 10 minutes or so before you jump on the next coat. And so that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna jump onto this next coat. And again, I'm gonna just basically go around the shoe and I'm trying to hit it at a, a direct angle like this. Take risks cause scare money froze money And the money make the honeys moist toes numbing Fight or flight right but I never chose running Fly the art of flight board with the snow bunnies If you my homie I'ma let you hold something Peace to the kids, learn to grow sunny Days far away no shade bro Shark tanks full of great white mangoes I don't blow dough need to save those You was freezing to death but you stay cold With a can full of gas and a handful of matches And a cash stack you can turn into ashes Uncle Phil did it with his nephew And his son in the cave let me tell you Childhood images and pictures of the wealth My pops taught me ways to value on myself Moms look at me as a source of a help My bros often tell me that they worry about my help Damn, high school really wasn't a man But they ain't teach us how to get the credit up House parties just showed us how to live it up Santa Barbara poor 7 and a 7 up Millennial spending generation of the loss No 401ks parlayed in the stocks No mortgages and ownership and shit that we bought Clauses and frauds on your debit cards Truth be told, we all a target When the zombies come and you gon' fall a harvest Big fish flopping all right guys, so we're back and I'm gonna give you guys a quick uh, recap of what I've done with this shoe so far. Um, obviously you guys could see I already have the Supreme uh, tongue patch here and I've already got it sewn in. Uh, basically what I did was I just took a piece of leather and I actually just custom made that myself. Now, uh, I'm sure you guys noticed the back of this guy is all messed up. So I got my boy Billy from Beat to Heat Restorations. He's gonna show us exactly how to do a tab swap today and uh, finish these guys up, so let's go. How's it going guys? So as we all told you guys, we're gonna move on to the tab swap. Now, because he already had the shoe painted, what we decided to do is uh, do the glue method. So what we're gonna do is, uh, or what we did actually, is put some barge super stick right here, on the stitching to hold the stitching in place. Um, usually, you cut it out and then you redo the stitching. Um, but because the shoe was already painted, we're gonna do the, the glue method. You guys can see, uh, you get a package labeled with size, the color, uh, the year, if it applies. This is what the tabs look like. You know, everybody wonders if they flex, they bend or not. You know, there you go. And you can see all the stitching is in, in still in place right here. And, and that's the purpose of the of the glue. Just because, uh, like I said, you had already painted it, it was kind of crucial to have something to hold the stitching in place. Automated amateurs. Yeah, here we are, yeah. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Uh, the bro gas, you can tell them get this smart check Now I'm making beats, make them bounce like a fraud check Never met the world peace, life it is our test Need evidence, give them proof like a hard vest Give them proof, no light, that's a D12 And real proof, that's the line that's on me shelf Tripping, slipping with my sickness and I need help Looking in the mirror, trying to figure if I see self Word, and I've been grinding for a minute I'm posted uphill, I designed it from the clinic Chiefing up the drug, you mean I'm grinding, this 
Jesus in it 33rd degree, I'm spitting arsenic Roll them up tight so the joints are the riddick Predecessors who inspired this So we all mimic NY to the D LA to IE Eighth letter to the AS Double E B kind of important don't overuse the glue you don't need that much glue on there uh, maybe just a light coat on each tab um, what I was told is this glue has chemical properties to actually etch itself into the material so if you oversaturate either your shoes or the tab you can uh, run a risk of damaging it all right, y'all, so we hit the uh, conclusion of this video, and before I show you guys the final product, I just want to give you guys a shout out. Thank you guys so much. We've actually hit over 10,000 subscribers uh, really, really fast, and because of that, we've got a, a giveaway coming up. The next video that I got coming up, guys, is going to be a giveaway for um, these uh, Hawaiian Tropic slides here. And they were 100% custom made, free handed by myself. So I hope one lucky winner will uh, win these slides. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, give me some comments below. Let me know if you guys like this custom. I would love to hear you guys' comments about how this custom went. And, uh, you know, obviously, if you guys like the video, please hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate the like, so I know I'm going in the right direction. Oh, want to shout out uh, my man's over here at Sneaker Coffin. This is a new sponsor alert. Uh, acrylic boxes, uh, super sleek, uh, they're just completely amazing, great quality boxes, so please follow at Sneaker Coffin, uh, that's where you guys will see the uh, box that I'm going to present to you guys, customized as well, Billy, at Beat to Heat Restorations, yo, you are the man, thank you for coming through man, I really appreciate you to help us conclude the video, and uh, what's up, wrap that shit up B, hey, they want me to wrap it up, so uh, let's show you guys a final product man, Again, if you guys like my work, go to shopfeelgood.com. That's exactly where you guys could see my work. And it will be even more appreciated if you guys can support me a little bit and, and pick something up. We've got stencils, we've got hats, we've got t-shirts and all kinds of other gear there. And again, if you need anything paint-wise, material-wise, anything that I use today, look down below on the description area and you'll see exact links to where you can get everything today. This is the way I make my living, man. So if you guys uh, had any value given to you today, I'd really appreciate some kind of support back. Uh, with that said, guys, my name is Suheel with Feel Good Threads, and I'm out of here. Peace! You pronounce my name, Hussey, Pete. Life is a loop, every day is like a replay We play for keeps in this game, no free play Give them more so than that dude Tony Ishe Ay, And that Zappos, competition baffle Building my career, Daisy Chain was a scaffold So show tickets like a goddamn raffle People need jobs like Macintosh Apple Even if I pop, give them facts like Snapo Told me get a grip, I put the mic in the grapple Feeling like Moses, peak the power that my staff hold Get the net income, the operating cash flow Say I sound old school, but I ain't really that old 26 now, trying to build me a castle Yo, I just hope and pray my fans grow to trust me This rap game full of weak clowns like Krusty Vinyl crackle from that dusty The smokes have my lungs rusty Make me sweat, feeling musty I know that Noah built the ark Cause when it rains, it pours They told me rap is a game, but I don't play for sport It go